Hi, my name is Rebecca Powers with SLCT. I'm here at Animal Shelter Inc. in Sterling with Melissa Snitzer, the shelter manager. Today, she's going to give us some advice for pet owners or potential pet owners during the holiday season. This is Chucha, and she is a five-month-old shepherd mix. She is from our rescue in Puerto Rico, so she was found on the streets, actually near a church. Um, she's definitely shy uh, and in the beginning, but she does warm up to you after she gets to know you. She'll be a sweet lap dog, um, but she also will have energy, so she'll like to go out for walks and play in the yard. This is Ty, and he is a seven-month-old lab corgi mix. He's also shy at first, um, but he gets very playful, and he loves toys, and he's your best friend once he gets to know you. This is Kendra, and she is a 12-week-old lab terrier mix. She is also shy at first. Um, she does warm up to people, um, likes to wag her tail, and um, one of her favorite things to do is to stand on her hind legs. So if you're looking for a dog that you'd like to teach lots of tricks to, she might be a good one for that. Um, she does like to be held uh, and to sit on your lap, too and she is very athletic, so she might also like to do agility or something like that. So Melissa, what can you tell us about having animals during the holidays? Uh, having animals during the holidays is always very fun uh, for people. It can be slightly stressful for animals though, so there are some things to take into consideration. Uh, the first thing would be just holiday season. There are lots of decorations, ornaments, uh, potentially a tree, candles. Um, so be very watchful over your pets during this time of the year. Uh, certain things like tinsel and garlands are very attractive to cats and dogs, and they may try to eat them, um, and you could end up at the animal emergency room uh, if you don't keep a close eye around those types of ornaments. So um, some people prefer to decorate only things that are higher up, uh, which can prevent 
the animals being attracted and potentially eating something that they shouldn't. Um, and then also the holidays are a great time for having all sorts of rich types of food, um, different food that you might not have around other times of the year. And animals, uh, particularly dogs and cats, are sensitive to certain types of foods. And also, if your pet normally just eats cat or dog food, if you give them something like some turkey or something like that, it can cause some digestive upset for them. So it's best to just kind of keep them on a normal routine, keep them on their regular food if you can, um, because there might be a lot of extra commotion or um, just extra things going on that they're also having to deal with. So keeping them on a regular diet will help them. Um, and certain foods are toxic to animals, things that you might not think of like onions, um, chocolate for sure, definitely want to keep that away from the animals during the holidays. And then um, if you have pets, a lot of people travel for the holiday season. So some people choose to leave their pets at home, some people choose to board their pets, and some people bring their pets with them. Um, there are a lot of options, so if you like to board your animal, we do recommend checking out the boarding facility beforehand. Also during the holidays, you do need to book early for a boarding um, facility. Same thing with a pet sitter. If your pets are more comfortable at home, um, but you can't take them with you, a pet sitter is a great option. Um, but a pet sitter also needs to be booked quite a bit ahead of time. Um, they're coming to your house a couple times a day to take care of your animal, and they are also very busy during the holidays. If you travel with your pets, um, which is probably something that they would like, um, a few things to think about are wherever you're going, there will probably be a gathering of people, so that could be a slightly stressful situation for them also. Um, so having a crate or a pen where they can kind of go to a a quiet area of the house is a good idea. Also bringing um, maybe their favorite toy or their favorite blanket or dog bed um, that smells like home can be comforting and helpful to them too. Um, and then just a note about pets as gifts. Um, we in the shelter world are always concerned about this this time of year. Uh, there are lots of people who do adopt pets at the holidays. Um, our recommendation is that you bring the entire family to the shelter um, to let them all meet the pet, make sure they're all going to get along with the animal. Um, surprise gifts that are pets have lots of potential problems uh, built into that. So um, there are gift certificates available, which is a great way to give a pet as a gift, but then the person gets to pick it out on their own. Um, and then that way they can potentially get that bond going right from the beginning instead of an animal that they just might not click with. Um, so keep that in mind and have a happy holiday.